Maximilian is cleaning shrimp. He already cleaned 17 shrimp and continue to clean four shrimp every minute. So that's four times the number of minutes. Start out with 17 if you noticed. Write an equation to represent this context. It, an equation to represent this context is, okay, they're saying y is the number of shrimp cleaned, x is the number of minutes. So that automatically tell you this will be the number of shrimp clean, and this will be the number of minutes um, it took to clean those shrimp, the amount of shrimp. Okay? The y and the independent dependent. Y is the dependent, x is the independent. Okay. What is the coordinate of the y intercept? Well, slope is 4 over 1 y-intercept is 17 so if you do 17 I'm going to count by twos I think two would be a good one two four six eight ten twelve ten oh sorry it's this twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty 22, 24. We'll, we'll count by one work. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, well, yeah, we'll do by one. <coughs> Okay, up to 17. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There we go. So 17 shrimp cleaned already right here. Oh, sorry. 17 is right there. Um. The slope, the coordinate for that y-intercept is 0 and 17. The slope is 4 over 1 as a ratio. Plot the y, use the slope. Okay. And draw the lines. All right. Up 4, right 1. So I'm just going to see up 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. But I need more lines in this. So I should go with the twos that I was initially thinking. Alrighty. So the ones didn't work because I need more. I can't I can't use the negatives because we can't have negative shrimps or negative minutes. It's not such thing as negative shrimp. So I was right the first time. I can't count down going to the negative side. So if you look what I mean is back here. If I went up 4 over 1, it'll be right here. And then there's no more room, so I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1. And I can't have, there's no such thing as negative 2 um, minutes, because this is the minutes right here. Saying x represent the number of minutes. Okay. And then this is the number of shrimp cleaned. The y, so I can't, you can't have negative two minutes. So that's a bad graph. Okay, so I'm going to count by twos and see what happens. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six. Okay. Now 17 would be between 16 and 18. Okay, so we go up 2. Up 2 from here is 19, which is right there over 1 in the middle. 
19 is 21 over 1 right there. Erase all the excessive numbers. Uh oh. Okay. It's up 1. Well, 2 over 1. Right in that area. All right, we can go on forever in that direction. So, the, the more the minutes, <coughs> the more shrimp will clean. So that it says shrimp, shrimp cleaned. And here's this one. Calculate the y-intercept. Ooh, it, for each line. For the given slope and, and one point by on the line. Okay, so we just, we just want to know the y-intercept. not even asking you to write as an equation. I knew I should make my own worksheet. Okay, so to find y-intercept or letter B, we start out with the slope formula y equals to mx plus b. Okay, you substitute all the number in, input, the 2 into what m is, the y goes here, this is x, y, and the 5 goes there. So we get 6 equals to 2 times 5 plus b. 6 equals to 10 plus b minus 10 minus 10 to both sides. Negative 4 equals to b. So b is negative 4. Okay, you need to write this as an equation basically is y equals m, m here I put 2, x plus b, b is negative 4, so instead of plus it's a minus 4. Last one, oh my goodness y equals to mx plus b, remember, y, x, here's y, okay, y is 10 equals to negative 9.2 times 17 plus b. Well, let's multiply these two first, okay, when you multiply them, 9.2, times 17 is a negative 156.4 plus 6 you subtract 150 156.4 Minus 6. Oh, that's so easy. It's negative 150.4. I don't know why I need a calculator. Oh, because, see how I confused the 6 for a B? Oh, thank goodness. That's a B. Oh. Equals to 10. Add 156.4. At 156.4, you get. 166.4 equals to B. So that's what B is. So you write an equation as Y equals to M M is 266.4 times x oh no no what am I doing m is ne negative 9.2 too tired okay no. times 
X. What am I doing? I just solved 2 times M plus 266.6. M comes from here, so in place of that, you put there, which is there. And the B obviously is here, so it goes there. 266.6.